What's up everybody, it's Joe Murphy, and I thought I'd make a video today showing you the process that I go through to record and send a voiceover to a client. So I'll show you from the time I receive an email that tells me there's some new script waiting for me, I review the script, I walk into the studio, record the voiceover, and then come out and edit that voiceover on my Twisted Wave audio editing software. Um, so I'll take you through that process. Let's get into the studio. So one thing I've been doing lately with my recording is I've been keeping my computer outside of the studio. So I'll have it connected to the Zoom interface and I will take this wire, connect it to the computer and actually put it through the crack of the door um, and keep the computer outside. That way my microphone doesn't pick up any extra little noise because the microphone and the Zoom interface are both completely silent. So I'll record there and I'll look at my script on my phone. Um, and I'll take my phone and I'll just read through it and I'll make sure I have this, the uh, copy there. And that's been pretty easy to use. So one final note about recording before I get into it is when I first started doing voiceover, I would um, kind of record a section of the script, then go out of the studio, edit that section, make sure it was perfect, come back, record another section, edit, and, and I thought that was the most efficient way to make sure my audio was really good and I, I would be um, recording and editing it very well. But I realized that was a waste of time, and so now what I do and what I think most voice actors do and what you should do if you're getting started is record the whole script. Have some sort of indicator um, that will help you when you're editing to know if you've made a mistake. For me, I keep keep forgetting to buy, there's like a, a, a dog clicker. It's just some piece of plastic you hold in your hand and it clicks and that helps train dogs. But for a voiceover, I would use it for helping me understand or see a spike in my editing software that will let me know that I've made a mistake. What I do now is I just clap. If I make a mistake, I clap and then I'll see a big spike in my editing software so I know, okay, I can delete whatever comes before that spike. And I'll show you in the editing software, but the main thing is record all the audio first and then edit. So voiceover recording and then edit later. All right, so I've just finished recording the audio. I can't show you myself recording the audio because it's a, con it's a confidential recording. I'm not allowed to tell you the content of it, but I got in the studio, recorded the audio. Now I am here in front of my computer at my desk, as you can see, AKA my couch. As a voice actor, you can edit from wherever you want. So after finishing recording, I have, as you can see, 25 minutes of raw, unedited um, voiceover. And so now I'm gonna go in and edit it. So before I edit, I just wanted to show you what I was talking about earlier in the studio. As you can see right here, there's a little spike, and that's because I made a mistake. Is simply a copy of the file. I just clicked with my mouth to let myself know when I am editing that I made a mistake. But here you see two clicks. That means it's a good take and I'm going to keep it when I edit it. You can open it and make additional edits there. All right, now the first part of the editing process is done. I have taken out all of the bad takes, all of the takes where I stuttered or messed up. And what I have left is a big chunk of audio that is going to become many different separate files. I'll show you. So I now have like 10 minutes of audio and you see a lot of red lines here. Those are my markers that I put as I was editing and these will become about 24 different files. One of the reasons I really like Twisted Wave as my audio editing software is because it just makes things a lot easier. As a voice actor, you're going to need to, to break up your audio into small files pretty often. For this job, I have to break it up into 24 different audio files for the client because it's going to be in a training service. like a So the people, the end user of this is going to be looking at a a PowerPoint of some kind on the computer and they're gonna to have to click through that PowerPoint and with each new slide of that presentation or training they're gonna hear a different part of my voiceover so 
I have to cut it up and so that it is easy for the client to put it into whatever slide they need to put it into. Twisted Wave makes that really easy. So once you save the file in Twisted Wave and you want to split by these markers, all you do is go up to the top of the screen, hit markers, and then split by markers. And it'll have this option to split all of these, all of the different files. And you go down to the file type that you want. I want these to be dot wave. So I'm gonna click that. And that's it. Now it is divided up and I just have to go down to my file and rename all of the individual files. So that's pretty much it. Once I have divided all of the audio files up and renamed them so that the client will know what file is what, um, I upload it to a box, which is really similar to a Google Drive. The client has access to them and then we can go on and edit them or I can retake something if there was a mistake um, or they want to change the audio or change the script at the last minute. We can do that also. Um, so I'm sorry I couldn't bring you into the studio to actually show you the voiceover recording since it's I'm not allowed to show you the exact script but I hope this gave you an idea of what I do and um, how I can use Twisted Wave to edit pretty easily multiple files and cut up one big section of audio into tw in this case 24 different separate audio files so um, I'm gonna see you next time and hopefully you got something from this Please comment below if this is a strategy that you use or something that you'd like to see. Um, I'll see you next time.